How's it going? Uh, I have a website. My website is called thepointlesstraveler.com, and I'm here to talk about the uh, Drone Light uh, Fast and Light Hydration Bag from MSR. It's a six liter. Okay, basically, I'm going to be uh, bivouacking in Europe, and uh, I'm going to need to carry water in my pack to take a shower. This is for just backpacking. It isn't for any type of extreme sports or anything. It's just supposed to be used as a shower or, a high, or for drinking water. Um, my issue with it is, is that it has a lot of hardware at the top. It's got this huge plastic contraption at the top. People who buy a lot of bladders probably know that already. But for me, I'm not really sure if this is a great alternative to a water bottle. If I just buy a plastic water bottle that I can throw in the garbage, then at least I can get it out of my pack. Uh, this is going to be really obtrusive, you know, having this stuck right behind my back uh, in a frameless pack. This is a huge piece of plastic, so I just want to show you that. I'm really not sure if uh, this is a good idea. I mean, I can fold it like this, okay, and then I can basically put it with my back against here. But there's still, there's all this space here. I mean, that's got to be about three inches high of just plastic. That takes up a lot of space in the pack. I'm not really sure if that's going to work. Let me just, um, let me pack my pack in front of you guys and just show you uh, whether or not this is going to work out. All right, so basically, I've got this 18-liter pack. It's the minimalist. All right, so let's take the temples in there in the bottom. Okay, this is a Go Light umbrella. Stick that in the bottom. This is uh, the Go Light Selkirk jacket. Stick that in the bottom. These are um, Patagonia pants. Stick that in the bottom. Okay, let's see here. Okay. This is a through hiker uh, 1.5 inch clean shield quilt. I'll stick that across the bottom, kind of wedge all that down there. All right, now here's uh, the BearPod minimalist one person mesh tent with an XPED uh, UL basic air pad L long wide. Stick that on top of there. All right. Okay. Now I've got um, I've got some uh, blinders for sleeping. I've got some uh, long underwear. Let's see. I've got some arm warmers, all Kathleen one from Patagonia. Put that in there like that. Okay. And I find a place to. Make this nice and flat and stick it in there somewhere. All right. Stuff that down in there. Cool. All right, now I got some t-shirts. These are all Kathleen One t-shirts. Stuff these in there. All right. Make that nice and flat. Stick that in there somewhere. All right. Now I got uh, I got the Rick sack. I got uh, this is solar panel, pack safe, iPhone. Uh, this is a camera, and this is uh, this is the um, Sea to Summit day pack. Stick that in there as a rain cover. Lift that up. Get it all in there. All right. Here's some uh, tent. These are some stakes for the tent. Some line. Put that in there also. All right. I'm gonna zip this shut. Pull it shut. Here's some Vibrams. I'm going to stick these in the bottom. All 
wanted you guys to see is how full my pack is okay this is really stuffed kind of full and uh, the hydration is supposed to go in here that's really gonna push into my back you know I'm not really sure if I want to have a water bottle that I can't throw in the garbage with me now let's see if this thing even fits okay okay to be honest that's a pretty tight fit I don't think that a uh, water bottle is going to fit in here, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, I don't know. Okay, basically, yeah, I think it does fit. I mean, you can stick it in there so that it's flat. Hit it on the, hit it, and it'll squish in there. Let's see. As far as filling this with water. Still getting it in there. Um, I think it's a tight fit. You know, I think that a lot of hydration sleeves are gonna. It's a, kind of a battle trying to get stuff into these sleeves. Let's see. Yeah, I mean this this back panel doesn't really stretch. I've got my pack pretty full. There's not a lot of space in there. I mean, there's space to put this, but, um, you know, since it's going to be wet, I don't want to have this with my clothes and my electronics. If I put it in like this, that's obviously really going to stick into my back. That's not going to work. If I put it in like this, Um, okay, so yeah, it can fit. I mean, it can be stored in here, but as far as putting a full bladder for hydration into this back panel, once the uh, pack is full, that's going to be not easy to do, you know? I mean, it can be, it can be partially full and then slide it in like this and then have the top sticking out, but that's pretty massive. I mean, this is a pretty big gear item that's extra. It takes up a lot of space and it's an uncomfortable shape uh, to be carrying around, especially if you have an expensive camera that can't get wet. Uh, this is not really an ideal situation carrying this around. Now I do have another, I've got this Noceum out here. Let's see, but this is going to have my solar panel in it. So it's another area that I don't really want to get wet, but, you know, obviously that looks a little better. That's a little easier to carry around, but, um, you know, what if I want to go to a nightclub or something? I'm, or if I'm, you know, if I'm walking around like a hotel, I don't want tons of gear sticking out of my pack. I'm going to be traveling in Europe. If I go into a museum, I don't want a wet um, hydration system sticking through my noceum at everybody. I need to look incognito, and obviously be, having a water bottle that I could just throw in the garbage would be a lot more incognito than this. Um, this plastic hardware on top, I just don't know if this is going to work. But, uh, you know, maybe some people are able to make it work. Ultimately, I might have to toss it. If it really doesn't work out, I might have to chuck this while I'm on the road, and let's just see how much it costs. Um, it costs... Uh, it's 40 bucks, you know. That's kind of expensive for something that you might have to ditch on the road. You know, I'm not really sure if this is a solid buy or not. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay, this is the uh, 6 liter uh, MSR drum light. This is recommended on the internet as the lightest and most durable hydration pack uh, to bring with you if you're just going to be backpacking, if you don't need it for rock climbing or anything. This is the one to get. I'm not really convinced that this hardware on top is easy enough to use. It needs to, I think it needs to be flatter. I think it needs to be smaller. All right, thanks a lot.